Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your November 2018 mid-month check-in. This is for Cancer. November 2018. What is going on with Cancer? Cancer. If this resonates with you, Cancer, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you, Cancer, please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Cancer out there. All right, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be interchangeable or vice versa, so however it resonates with you, this is for Cancer. What is going on with Cancer for the mid-month? November. 2018, Cancer, this is for, whew, you guys' cards are all over the place, Cancer, Cancer, ooh, all right, all right, all right, okay, Cancer, Cancer, there you are. You're in the spread. This is all about some of you. All right. So, single and enjoying it, might I say. That's for some of you, right? But single lady card here, male or female, does not matter. I've got earth. I've got water. I've got air. I've got fire. It's, you know, it could be any sign here, but Nine of, or no, yes, nine of pinnacles at the bottom of the deck here. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you're coming through as the single person. And you don't mind. You're, you're not taking any bullshit here. You're not taking any bogus offers. You're not uh, dealing with a bunch of nonsense, basically. You have realized that you are able, um, completely and totally capable of... Um, taking care of yourself and everyone around you and you are, you know, you're setting pretty. You're waiting for the right offer. And if it ain't exactly what you want, then you ain't having it. Okay? That's right. That's right. <laughs> I love it. I love it so far. Very good. Strong, independent, right? Making it happen for, for yourself. Because, right, you're not taking any offers right now unless it's the exact one you want. You are fine being single and waiting for the right person to come along. Plain and simple, Cancer. Okay? And just keep in mind, though, that when somebody comes to offer you something, okay, because I do see some offers coming in here. Don't be closed off to that. At least see what the offer's all about, okay? But I don't see you taking any bullshit offers right now. No bullshit apologies, no bullshit offers. Plain and simple. We have the four of cups here. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And why are you able to pick and choose? Because you realize you can take damn good care of yourself. And, and others, you know, if you have children, you can take care of them. You can take care of yourself and those that need your care. You, you can do this. Fiercely independent. So you can be picky. All right? The challenge here. Okay? The challenge. And that's, that's my worry because, you know, there are offers going to be coming to you. Make sure you evaluate them before you judge harshly because of past events, because you've been very hurt before cancer, all right? This is your challenge, getting over this dramatic ending right now. Ten of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Somebody hurt you. Somebody caused you great pain. But, you know, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, you realized that you are worth so much more than this right here and you can 
pick and choose whatever offers that are coming in. Evaluate them properly before you start, you know, deny, deny, deny. <laughs> that's, that's the thing, all right? Because there is some offers coming in for you, but um, I just want you to make absolutely sure that you don't judge too quickly because of this right here, because of all the hurt and pain that you've been through in the past, okay? That can be tricky. All right, so trying to get over this hurt, trying to get over this heartache, right? Understandable, understandable why you would be very closed off, but, you know. All right, so your advice is this passionate new beginning, okay? This is a creative spark. You, you're getting your groove back for sure, Cancer. I love this, right? Especially with these two cards together. This is inspiration. You're ready for new beginnings here. Ace of Wands. You're ready to follow your passion here, right? And, you know, maybe somebody was just bringing your energy down with this right here. Bringing your energy way, way down. You're ready to move forward here, especially with your own card here. This is what you're focused on. Moving on. Pushing forward. Going in a direction where you're going to find your happiness. Where you're going to find your passions again. I love this. You have the chariot here. This is you. Right here. Being victorious over this situation. And damn, Cancer, you are very victorious. Your advice is follow your passion, right? It's like you got your spark back. You're getting your spark back. You want these new beginnings. And look, you're able to do whatever the hell you want. Sometimes being single isn't at all isn't a bad thing. All right? Especially if you're dealing with this. You're ready to push forward. You're ready to put all this negativity behind you. Um, yes, yes. You're, you're feeling alive again. That's what I'm getting here. Victory, new passionate beginnings. That spark is back. That sparkles in your eye. I love, love, love this. The outcome is happiness, right? This is happiness. Ten of Cups, you know. And yes, this is about commitments, but this is also about family, right? Focusing on your coins, focusing on your family. You're committed to your family, right? You want your home life to be happy. You want your children to be happy. And you want to make the right decisions, you know, if you become partnered with someone that they are going to be able to provide this for you. This is all about happiness in your home and your family life. Ten of Cups, that's water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. I love this. I love this. Please clarify that Ten of Cups for Cancer. Please clarify the Ten of Cups for Cancer for November 2018. Please clarify that Ten of Cups. Yep. Completing a cycle and starting a whole new chapter in your life. And you're excited about it. You're excited about it. Once you release this energy, which is very challenging, yes, I know. But once you release it and you embrace all this newness and you start pushing forward and you close this chapter right here, things are going to be turning around here. Happiness, you know, you're going to get your happiness back. You're going to get your passions back. I love this, right? You had to walk away from something that was no longer emotionally fulfilling you. Okay? Closing this chapter walking towards your passions, walking towards your happiness. Here we go. And when offers do come in cancer, you're going to be able to be selective. I love it. You're going to be able to pick and choose. Because you know you can take damn good care of yourself. And that's a beautiful thing. That independence is a beautiful thing. 
All right, this is for Cancer. For November. 2018. Mid-month check-in. This is for Cancer. What is going on with Cancer? What's going on? What is going on with Cancer? Mm. And you deserve love. You are lovable. And you have realized this, especially with that Nine of Pentacles and that single lady card, that independence, waiting for the right offer to come along. Not accepting bullshit at this time. Nope. Bullshit denied. You realize you deserve so much better than, than this right here. Plain and simple. And like I said, when those offers do come in, right? When those offers do come in, right here, you're going to really get to know this person. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You want to know how deep this person is. Is it real? Is it sincere? You are going to really... Um, get to know them um, on so many different levels so that you are absolutely 100% sure this is the right offer for you, okay? Because don't want to deal with this, right? You want some of this, right? You want passion. You want some of this. You want happiness this time around, right? This new chapter, you bet... They better be coming at you in the very correct way or offer denied. <laughs> I love this so much. Cancer, I love this reading. Very good. Very good. Feeling strong. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right. That's what we've got for you, sweethearts. Sunday through Thursday, I go live with the daily message around noon Eastern Standard Time. Um, Friday is the live love luster loss around noon Eastern Standard Time. And then uh, next week, I will be getting out the Let's Spy on Our X. And um, yeah, so a lot of stuff coming to you, Cancer. And to everyone, I hope you all have a beautiful week and take very good care of yourselves and stay strong cancer okay you're doing good all right much love to all of you god bless